so we didn't actually get new listener questions in this time, but we're actually going to revisit an old listener question. Because remember how last time we got those questions from Yuri Fick about Audible versus Audible Plus? Right. And you and I both basically said, we don't, don't know. know. <laughs> we don't know the answer. <laughs> right. And if anybody does know the answer, please let us know. Well, we got an answer that is fabulous. And it's from somebody who really, really knows her stuff because it's the kick ass lesbic author, Amanda Radley. And for people that don't know, Amanda is now with you at Bold Strokes Books, but she used to have her own publishing company for a while. I think it was called Heartsome. And so before we get into Amanda's answer, the questions were number one, does the author get paid when we listen to their audiobook that is part of the Audible Plus catalog? Number two, what does the publisher slash author get out of making a release, quote unquote, Audible exclusive? And number three, what are the motivations to put a book on Audible Plus versus full price? And so Amanda said, I can't speak on behalf of Bold Strokes Books specifically because I don't know if they are enrolling their books in Audible Plus, but I can answer in general. Firstly, it's important to know the difference between Audible Plus and Audible Premium. Audible Plus is the new Kindle Unlimited style subscription service. This is where listeners pay a monthly subscription fee to listen to as much as they like, which is uh, whatever is available in the Plus catalog. I believe it's currently only available in the U.S. with Plus so that listeners can access audiobooks, podcasts, and original content that is enrolled in the Plus catalog, which is currently quite limited in comparison to the main catalog so that it's only around 15,000 titles versus half a million titles. When you cancel your membership, you do not own or have access to anything you have listened to. Audible Premium is how Audible has historically worked so that you earn credits each month and are able to purchase an audiobook with that credit. When you cancel your account, you still retain access to the title and it is yours to keep. So to answer the first question, and I'm going to go back to, does the author get paid when we listen to their audiobook that's part of Audible Plus catalog? Yes, authors do get paid when audiobooks are listened to through the Audible Plus catalog. At the moment, we are paid the same amount as when a book is purchased via a credit. But I imagine this will change once the Audible Plus platform is properly rolled out and has more subscribers. In the case of Kindle Unlimited, authors are paid far less for a book read through Kindle Unlimited instead of purchased outright. Most authors are happy with this as it's good to attract new readers. Audible Plus will probably go through the same way over time. It's worth pointing out that Audible is happy to give authors free money while they are building up their world dominance in this market. I mean, that's fair. I think we know know. that Amazon (laughs) is all about that world domination. Right. Like Jeff Bezos just looks like an evil like, villain, right? At this point, doesn't he? I mean, anyway, that's a that's a whole ass aside. Right. Okay, yes. back to, but back to her message. <laughs> In the past, but sadly no more, authors were paid for audiobooks listened to via free promo codes. So if a listener listened to a free audiobook, the author would receive the same payment as if the book had been purchased despite no money ever being paid. Audible also provided these codes for free in their hundreds equals free money, but as I say, sadly, no more. In answer to the second question, which is, what does the publisher slash author get out of making a release Audible exclusive? Yes, authors do get more for being exclusive to Audible. There are lots of ways to pay or not pay for production of an audiobook, but if you choose a royalty share scheme between narrator and author, then you can choose a 40% royalty rate for being exclusive to Audible, meaning distribution through Audible, Amazon, and iTunes, or a 25% royalty rate for retaining your right to distribute elsewhere. As Audible and iTunes account for the majority of sales anyway, most will choose more royalty. Where else do you get audiobooks, though? You can can get them through Spotify now. You can do audiobooks.com. You can get them through the library. Uh, Although if you get them through the library, obviously you can't, you don't get to own them. You're just borrowing them. That's actually how I listen to most of mine. If I'm not listening to audiobooks for review, which either come to me, depending on who they're coming from, like if it's a book that uh, is from Bold Strokes Books or from Bywater Books, it's usually coming through audible.com. If it's from Ilva Publishing, because Ilva does all of theirs through Tantor. I believe it comes from audiobooks and sometimes one other that I cannot 
remember. And then for me, if I'm going to buy one, I'm probably going to buy from Audible just because I have so many books in Audible anyway. Like it's just so easy, but I do try to get through my library. I love the Libby app. I find it so easy. I don't mind waiting because I always have an audiobook on the go anyway. So that's fine. That's good. Yeah. So that's a whole lot of <laughs> audiobooks. But, but it's, I, it's, it's educational. I mean, I didn't know hmm. this stuff for sure. No. I just, I see, oh, look, this, my book made it to, you know, if you go to Amazon and you look, oh, this is an audiobook now. And so honestly, maybe it's just me, but I never know when it's going to happen. No. If it happens. So I'm always surprised because there's somebody who like goes through the, I think it's lesbian audiobooks club on Facebook and they always post mm-hmm. and tag people. I think it's Stephanie Culpepper. She, she mm-hmm. tags people. Oh, look, Fiona Riley, your book's out on Audible now, or look what's available as an audiobook. So mm-hmm. I usually get my information through that way, unless I'm like constantly looking on Amazon, but yeah, I don't do that. So no, no. Thank you so much, Amanda, for sending that in. That is so yes, helpful. I didn't know really any is. of that information. I personally feel educated. Yuri Fick, I hope you feel like you have a better understanding of it now too. Yeah, now we know. 